Actually, they should have. Can you hook up an N64 to an iMac? Um, I mean, you'd have to get like probably like a video card or something. I mean, you need this RCA. There's a way to do it, of course. It's just a That CRT. would be pimp, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, remember Beetle Adventure Racing? No. It was, uh, I guess, to promote the, the new Beetle that came out. Oh, the VW? Yeah, I remember when they re rebooted that. And what was that? That had to be 98 also. Did Gene did Apley hit you up? He did. He wanted me to co-headline the Copa Cabana with Peter Lomagello Jr. Why didn't he? Dude, that's bullshit. He said, who sells better, you or Nick? And I said, to be honest, Nick sells better than me. Because mm -hmm. I'm a stand-up guy. Yeah. He sells much better than me, probably. And then he's like, do you have his number? He's been he, hitting me up for your number for days. Mm -hmm. And then he offers you this great gig at the Copa Cabana with Peter Lemangelo Jr.? Well, he, he didn't tell me what the actual deal was. Can I go? He's like, how, he said, what, how much does Nick, uh, how much is he? Here's what I told Gene. I was like, because I, I, I don't really. Why can't I do it with it? You can't. I, I turned it down. No, what, we should both do it. Well, I turned it down because I don't really understand how lounge singing would pair with stand-up comedy. I don't, listen, first of all, we promote it on the show. We get our guys in there. Second of all, it's the Copacabana, dude. Fucking Rickles was there. Yeah. The Rat Pack. Yeah. That's our kind of vibe, dude. Yeah. That, uh, you know how old that club is? 1940 is when it opened. It's still open? It's moved locations, but yeah, it's the Copacabana. Does it look cool in there? You know the Barry Manilow song? Yeah. At the Copa. Copacabana. Copacabana. That's it. That's you the, can like do little, like, you know, like, it reminds me of the Barry Manilow song. At the Copa. Copa well, I turned it down, but you know, he's, he's got Peter Lemagello Jr. there. And um, I told Gene, you know, he's like, because he's trying to sell tickets. I said, you know, it'd be even better is you can book a couple of things around the area and then we can give you the show and you can live stream at midnight and do sort of like a public access, like um, It'd be incredible. local culture section. It'd be incredible. We're not, we, he could just have the set and he can bring on his friends and he can say, you're, you know, you're gonna be, just do the Gene DiNapoli show live from here. I, I feel like, listen, we have a channel. Yeah. We need extra verticals. Extra verticals. We need more verticals. I, I love the idea. We could have the Gene DiNapoli show here. He takes, Adam, can, Adam, can, uh, Ginsburg, can we get a different look? Yeah. All right. So just, uh, there Check I think. Check this out, you cocksuckers. There might be like, uh, that, there might be one, that, a preset that just says bisexual lighting. Yeah. That, this would be, this, actually, this, this is. This isn't bisexual lighting. This, this isn't, is, but this, this is. is Charlie Rose vibes, right? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That. Yeah, and so he could, have, honestly, we should on the, the Taft's YouTube channel just have the Gene, Gene DiNapoli Gene show. Gene DiNapoli. If we could get a kind of a Coco Cabana vibe. Copa Cabana vibe. Yeah, Coco yeah. Cabana. Coco. Yeah. It's chocolate. Oh, that's good. And Gene can try to eat as much chocolate as possible during one sitting. That'd be good. I feel like he probably doesn't eat chocolate. Um, no, he does. He does came he? in with a hot chocolate, remember? He oh, was, he did. He was mad. <laughs> he was uh, quite mad. What was he mad about again? He was like, I asked for no fucking whipped cream. Yeah. They give me whipped cream. This bitch oh, right. is making fucking $30 an hour. Yeah. They don't want to work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I look over, and what's in there? Whipped cream. Whipped cream. Yeah. What a diva. Who, Gene? Yeah. No, you're mad at him because he didn't let you co-headline with Peter Lomagello Jr. I was honest in the question that he hounded me for your phone number. I said, of course he I'll send you. He has my phone number. I said, of course I'll send you Nick's phone number. He texted me. We have a text thread going already, and he says, this is Gene. He had my phone number. He's mad because I didn't respond to his text a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Well, said, you, maybe he said, hey, Pally. Maybe you should co-headline Peter Lomagello Jr. Uh, no, I don't want your fucking slopped, sloppy seconds. I just don't know if, like, I'm not the right kind of comedian to pair with it. I think that we, we you and I, we do a try. A tr you know it'd be great? Peter Lomagello Jr., Sam Morrill. That'd be good. Yeah, that'd be great. He'd He's be a perfect. classic kind of New York yeah, South. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And his, his act is what stand-up yeah. should, I mean, like... I'm going to pitch this to Gene. I'm going to say, Gene, what do you think about this? There's this kid, this hot, the new kid, Sam Morrill. Forget about it. Here's my Jewish idea. Jewish kid out of New York. Here's my idea. Italian monster trucks. That's a good. We, you know, there's a monster jam, but what if you did it in the boroughs? Mm-hmm. 
Yes, five trucks, a Staten Island truck, yeah. a Brooklyn truck, Queens truck, Manhattan truck, and they Bronx all truck. they all meet on Ground Zero and destroy the new World Trade Center. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be awesome if people would be rooting for their fucking borough. Yeah. And we sell tickets for $100 a piece. But the trucks would be Italian, and too. And we're, promote, we're promoting it. We came up with the idea. Mm -hmm. So we get 95% of the ticket sales. Mm -hmm. Peter Lemangelo gets 2.5%. And, and, uh, you know we need a... You know and we, the people running the monster trucks, they go into debt. We need to set up Scumbag Vinny and Gene. That's where it started. What do you oh, mean yeah, we need fuck. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we, we met them. Is my brain is... Scumbag Vinny. My brain is deteriorating. Yeah, mine rapidly. is too.